State-mandated mental health reform continues to bring big changes to mental health care across North Carolina. Local management entities have been directed to cease providing direct services and to transition into managed care organizations similar to insurance companies. To ensure that our county continue to have a safety net for mental health patients, Cumberland County's Department of Public Health has taken over management of the psychiatric clinic that was operated by the local management entity. Dr. Mark Chandler is the medical director for the Public Health Department's Mental Health Clinic, which is located at 109 Bradford Avenue in Haymount. He tells us about the services offered to children, adolescents, and adults, regardless of financial status. The Mental Health Clinic is a clinic under the Public Health Department that provides mental health services to the citizens of Cumberland County. We serve children, adolescents, families, and adults of Cumberland County. Our main services are psychiatric services. We have adult psychiatrists, we have child and adolescent psychiatrists, and counseling services, which is talk therapy. We're currently located at 109 Bradford Avenue. All our services are here now. Prior to this, children were seen at the Executive Place site and adults were seen here at Bradford Avenue, the old High Smith Rainey Hospital. Now all our services are here. The best way to access services now is as a walk-in. Uh, we have clinicians available throughout the day and you can be seen throughout the day as a walk-in. We prefer you come early in the morning. It's much easier to get you in and out like that. Mental health reform began some 10 to 12 years ago. It was the state's desire and vision that public mental health services would be divested to providers in the community. Uh, that's been met with uh, limited degrees of success. We maintained services here as long as we possibly could. In July of 2012, we were mandated to divest of the remaining services we had and that was our psychiatrists and our therapists. In order to preserve those services, we had talks with county commissioners, county management, and the public health department. Uh, Buck Wilson is the director of the public health department, and he was supportive from the very beginning of the idea of placing the mental health services under the public health department. So July 1st, we became the Mental Health Clinic of the Public Health Department to continue to provide safety net services. And those are vital services to this community. The safety net services that we provide include some of the following. We see emergency walk-ins every day. If someone's in a crisis, if they need to be hospitalized, we can assess them and provide the appropriate care. There are many patients who cannot take medication by mouth, and these patients have to have their medication given by an injection. And so we have several hundred patients who come in from every two to every four weeks to receive their medication by an injection. So of course that requires a physician order and it requires a nurse to administer uh, the injection. In addition to that, there are many patients who cannot afford their medication indigent patients who do not qualify for any benefits such as Medicaid or Medicare or third-party insurance. We have a patient assistance program that provides medication for those that are eligible. You, there's an application process and if they're approved the drug company actually sends their medication here and we distribute the medication to them uh, when they come in for services. Last year, I believe we gave away $400,000 to $500,000 worth of medication through the patient assistance program. Additional services that we provide, people who are discharged from state hospitals, prisons, we see those as a safety net service. We see anyone who walks in regardless of ability to pay, and that is another one of our safety net services. What I would want to uh, let folk know in the community is we're still providing publicly supported mental health services 
uh, to all the citizens of Cumberland County. The best way to access us is just to walk in 109 Bradford Avenue. You can certainly call uh, 3230601. You can be referred, but the easiest way to access services now is just to walk in. Hours are 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. There is a sliding scale fee for uh, folk who can't afford the services, and we don't turn folk away for any reason concerning the ability to pay. Uh, we accept Medicaid, Medicare, third-party insurance. There are state funds available for people uh, who can't afford and have no other means to pay. Uh, so we would never turn away anyone for a financial reason.